Hello, hello, my beautiful boo. I got this package in the mail today, and I wanted to share it with you guys. So let's open this up. Okay, so I got a stamper. And so here is my box. It says, Manny X Me. Tells you a little bit about it. It says, Bad to the Bone, Deathly Hollows, Trick and Treats. Pretty cool. It says, um... Says the uh, stamping polishes are cruelty free and five free. And called Hell Hamster Manicure Tutorial. So cute. Oh my god, it's so cute. Gives you the step by step instructions on how to do this. Get okay, everything out. All right, so first thing I see is my uh, stamping polishes. So let's go ahead and open these. Oh my goodness, these are so hard to get open sometimes. There we go. There are the two colors that you get. Looks like you get Thriller and you get Ghoulish. Very pretty. This one's hollow and this is like a metallic. It's got silver in it too. Very, very pretty if you guys can see those. We will swatch those too. And of course you get a little pamphlet, gives you some uh, tips and tricks on how to stamp if you need help stamping. So that's pretty cool if you've never had stamping, if you've never done stamping, that kind of helps you out a little bit. So what is this? Oh, it's a trick or treat bag. So cool, it says Maniology. That's awesome. I like it. It's so cute. So here are your two plates that you get. It says Pet Cemetery. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's got little animals and stuff on it. It's got uh, graves. Oh, these are awesome. And then there is this one here as well. This is also related to the Pet Cemetery. I mean, it's pretty cool for um, Halloween. I've got my mini ex uh, miniology book here. And this is just a little, you know, you, different ideas and things like that you can do with these stamping pads. They're pretty cool. Uh, these are just some that I like tried to recreate before these old ones I have here I'll just keep them in case I have any ideas with them so and I'm going to show you what these two colors look like from Maniology these uh, stamping uh, polishes first thing you know you need to do is take off the blue film that's on your Oh goodness, my nails are so short right now. Anyways. If you've never stamped before, the first thing that you need to do is take a lint-free wipe or a cotton ball or something, preferably a lint-free if you can. Take some acetone, and you want to go over these stamping plates because if there's any kind of film or anything in the grooves of the stamping plate, this will remove it, or any polish or anything like that for a used one or anything like that. You just want to take some acetone and clean it really well. 
All right, so let's do this one first. The first color I'm going to try. Oh, oh, oh. The first color that I'm going to try out. Touch I'm clumsy, guys. Uh, first one we'll do is Ghoulish. I'm going to show you what it looks like. And I'm just going to paint it on here. I'm just going to do a thin layer. But I want to show you what it looks like. I'm going to wipe that off a little bit. Just let it dry really well before you do anything on top of it. That is gorgeous. I love that. Wow, that's pretty. This one is Thriller. I'm going to go ahead and paint this one as well so that way you can, you can see it. Really pigmented. Sorry, I'm just taking some of that off. Okay, so that's what they look like, and they're very pretty if you guys can see those. Gunner, now! Those are very pretty, though, if you can see those. Like, they shine so pretty. Great for Halloween. So, the first thing I'm going to do is... I'm sorry for any noise in the background, guys. I'm just going to tell you now. My dog is in here, and he's, like, growling right now. So, <laughs> anyway, so, let's do this one here. I'm going to take... This one is Ghoulish. Let me get this stamper out. I'm sorry, guys. I totally didn't even have my stamper out. Like, how was I supposed to stamp that? Oh. <laughs> Blonde. I'm just going to take the lid off. The first thing that I'm going to do is take my lint roller and I'm just going to go over the top of it really well to make sure there's nothing on it. No films or nothing. No oil. Or oil. I don't know if it would have oil on it, but you know what I mean. Just run it over. If this does not help any of your stamping, if you can't pick an image up, then you need to wash it with warm water and a little bit of Dawn soap and that will help as well but now they are really sticky if you can get it to pick up without doing that it's great but normally I just take my lint roller unless it's like really difficult are pretty cool. I like manualogy stamping plates. Sometimes I wish I made bigger ones that you could pick up. You know what I mean? You can do individual ones if you like. Or you can do a bunch. Now the gold one is a little bit harder to see like that than the per the holographic one but like I said I think I like them a whole lot better as a background um 
yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. That's, that's it, though. That's what they look like. They're very beautiful. Anyways, that was this month's box. Let me know what you guys think, if you've got this kit or not, whether you like it, what's your feelings on it. Um, but anyways, like I said, I love Maniology. It had some really good polishes and plates. I'll leave the link in my description box as well as my code for you guys. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe and let's be friends. Go ahead and share my video. Don't forget to hit that like button down below. It helps me out a lot. But I love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.